Hey everybody, it's Chris, and today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the Shelly Art course. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I have learned. Um, this is a class that I signed up for several months ago when it first became available to us. Um, it is a $99 course, and I actually do have a coupon for you. Um, it's a coupon code to save 15% on the course, and I will link that in the description of the video. Um, I kind of went back and forth about whether or not I wanted to do this because I kind of feel like um, people who paid $99 for the course, I don't, I think it's kind of a shame that the recipes and different things have been leaked. Um, what I will tell you is one of the things um, that is really amazing about this particular class and it, there is actually a Facebook group that is um, only for paid members. And I will tell you that I've learned so much and um, everyone has been really kind in sharing all of the information that they've learned along the way, along with recipes and things like that. And so I really, really encourage you to sign up and take the course. You will learn so much more than what I can show you today or really what you can learn online and all the other YouTube videos that are out there. So I really encourage you to sign up for the course because it, it truly is more than just the Shelly course. It's the Facebook group, it's the community um, that was based around that class and really an amazing group of people that are in those groups. So um, here's the thing. These are the items that I use. I will not, <laughs> I repeat, I will not write down the recipes and the measurements for you. I will tell you what I am using right now and what is working for me. Please do not ask in the comments for me to tell you the measurements. If you want the measurements, you need to write them down. Um, if you want to learn even more than what I can show you, please sign up for the course. Okay, so um, it's basically three pieces that kind of go into this technique. You have the pillow, which is right here in the middle. Um, the pillow that I'm using right now is a satin color place, white pre-mixed paint from Walmart. Um, I found that that works pretty well for me. I don't thin it. I use it straight out of the can the way it is. You'll notice there's a stir stick on top. Do not shake your your gallons of paint. Make sure that you are stirring them gently so that you don't create bubbles in the paint. On the left is what is called the cell activator. Those are the ingredients that go into it. My particular recipe is one and a half tablespoons of Floetrol, one teaspoon of the glue all, one drop of the Minwax pre-stain wood conditioner, and one teaspoon of titanium white, and then a couple of drops of liquid or excuse me, of the white acrylic ink by Liquitex. The acrylic, acrylic ink is also titanium white. Um, if I'm using a black cell activator, I'm using the oxide black that is also Amsterdam. And um, brand names are kind of important when it comes to doing this particular technique. You'll find once you sign up for the course and when you're in the Facebook group, you'll find that a lot of people use different things and um, Different brands work in different countries, um, different materials work in different countries, so really is, um, it really is crucial to be in a group to help you with all of this. Um, so that is the cell activator. As I said, my, um, my pillow, as we call it, is in the center. I, right now, I'm only using a white pillow. Other people have branched out and they've used black and gray and all kinds of different things and had some really cool effects. The pouring medium, um, or the paint medium is kind of a um, it's a different kind of style if you will of the pigment so you start with the Sherwin Williams high gloss ultra deep base paint which is the the gallon in the background that you see and then um, so that measurement is I use one part of the polycrylic and one part of the deep base the polycrylic is the min wax again another min wax product in the blue can that you see there on the left. So those are the two things that kind of make up the, the pouring medium, if you will. That pouring medium gets added to whatever type of pigment you want. It might be the Pearlex pigments that you see there on the right. If you use the Pearlex pigments, then you also need to use some type of a liquid to activate those powders. And I have found that the color um, pouring medium gloss from Golden has worked really well for me. I've also added some of the, the pearlescent liquid acrylic, I believe it's ink, that you see up there on the left that's in the white and the teal. Sometimes I'll add that into the pigment just to give it a little more color, or maybe I wanna add an iridescent shine to it. Um, the pearlex, you just mix a little bit of the color pouring medium 
in with it just to kind of make it a little bit of a paste and then you add in your pouring medium that I explained was the Sherwin-Williams and the polycrylic. The other thing that I have done too is to use the um, tube paints. When I use the tube paints, I, I do add in some of this Liquitex Basics iridescent medium in with it. And what that does is kind of give it a pearly quality. So some of the tools that I use are measuring spoons. Those are a must. Those are only for my painting. And then I also have some little disposable containers that I purchased off of Amazon that have lids on them. And that's what I mix my pouring mediums in or my colors. And a lot of people have more success when they use their cell activator within just a couple of days of making it. I personally have been able to use mine for a couple of weeks now because I kind of got a little carried away when I made my first batches. But um, and as well as the paints, you just kind of, it's all in the, again, it is all in the consistency of what you're using. So sometimes as they sit, they will thicken or they will thin. So you kind of have to adjust. So these are the ingredients that I'm using today in what I'm going to show you. And um, as I said, please, please, please purchase the class. It really, truly, truly is worth, I mean, you're, I guess you would only pay 80 $4, $85 for the class where I paid $99 for it. But with the coupon, you get that 15% discount. It really is worth it, guys. Um, you will learn so much and um, it really is a fantastic class. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up and show you uh, the next steps in this really great technique. So hold tight. Okay, I've got everything set up now so that I can kind of show you this technique. And one thing that I did not mention is when you're using the Pearlex pigments or any type of a dry pigment, um, I just added a few drops of the um, golden pouring medium just to kind of make a paste. I think I'd mentioned that before. But um, I use a half a teaspoon of pigment and then a little bit of that pouring medium to kind of make the paste. And then I add in my other pouring medium that was the deep base and the polycrylic. And I keep that pre-mixed. So I just keep the little pouring medium pre-mixed in this little cup. And um, I just add it into the pigments or the paint, whichever one I decide that I'm going to use. So um, as I said, I keep my pigments in these little containers and um, just keep the lids on them. And I keep my little stir sticks with them so that they're ready to go. And let's see if I can kind of show you so this is the brown, and you'll see that it's quite thick. You want the pigments to be thicker than your cell activator. Here's the gold that I'm going to use. And it's runny, but it's not, I mean, it's a very thick kind of honey, almost thicker than honey consistency. And then I did mix up a new batch of cell activator, and this is the cell activator. And you can see that that is quite a bit thinner than what my pigments were. So you'll kind of see better when I um, put it down on the surface. So I'm going to work on a tile today. And I will say that um, tiles are probably the best way for you to learn this particular technique. I um, didn't start out, I, I started out with tiles and I didn't really move on to bigger surfaces until I kind of felt like I had a good grasp of how this works. And I'm using, today I'm going to use raw umber and I'm using my Pearl X Aztec Gold, and I'm also using Pearl X Copper and um, a white cell activator. So these are gonna be kind of like um, more earth tones. And uh, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I generally don't go to earth tones. <laughs> I'm a very bright purples and blues and pinks kind of girl. So, um, but I did wanna show you one that I've done previously. And this one actually has resin on it now. So this is this is going to be a coaster when it's um, all said and done. And sorry about the reflection, but um, see that iridescent sheen to that, guys? That is what excites me the most about this particular style of painting. So you can see that I've got this gold, and if I get the light just right, you can see that it's this really pearlescent sheen. There it is. And then you can also see that over... I'm watching in my TV, so I'm not exactly sure where it's at. There we go, right in here. And I can tell you that on the screen, I can see the pearlescent, but um, when I look at it, I can't see that. So that's one of the things I love about this particular technique. And so what we're trying to achieve here is the cell action and just the really cool effects that it creates. 
This I believe was um, black and white cell activator um, to kind of create a little bit of a different look to it. But that was the Aztec Gold and I believe it was the Reflex, Reflex Violet as well as a magenta that I had mixed up. Or actually, no, it was the Liquitex Red, um, Liquitex Cadmium Red Deep. So it's kind of interesting, the colors that you use, uh, you would think that they would kind of create something different, but it's really interesting to me the different effects that you get with the colors. Okay, so I'm starting with my little pillow paint here. And I keep mine, I just poured this in with a funnel into this bottle just so that I had it ready to go. And so you want to pour a pretty generous pillow on there. And then the next thing we're going to do is to start to add our colors. So the color that's on the bottom and on the top are going to be the colors that you will notice the most. So I'm going to start with some of my Aztec Gold. And this is going to go right in the middle. And then next I want to add in my Burnt Umber. And then I'm going to finally add in the copper on top of that. So I kind of, I'm hoping that the copper and the gold are going to be kind of my uh, most noticeable colors in this one. And then finally, I'm going to add my cell activator on top. And this is where you're going to see how thin this really is. So you kind of want to try to cover some of the color that you've put down. And then the next thing that is the most important is blowing the color. In fact, let's just use a straw. And I, I'm not sure that this is really the best way to do it, but I'm hoping that this will kind of show you how the cell activator kind of reacts, if you will. And then I'm just gonna turn this so that I'm not in your way. So you want the cell activator to kind of float out over the colors. And then I'm gonna pick it up and blow right here in the center real quick. So blowing on it is kind of what helps to create those cells. And you can see that I've got some pretty cool cells happening here. The other thing that you want to do, so you have this pillow paint on here. So what we want is for the paint to kind of come back up underneath. I can tell that right here, it's probably down all the way through to the tile. And I want that to loosen up just a little bit before I start to tilt it. The other thing is too, is that this paint, because it's house paint, is quite thick. And I'm just gonna kind of help it a little bit over here on the edges in hopes that that'll kind of help it to cover a little bit easier. You have to be really patient with this particular technique because the paint is really thick because it's house paint. So it moves very, very slow. <laughs> and it can take me like 45 minutes to an hour just to do a set of coasters with this particular technique. But I just think it is so incredibly cool when it's done. Okay, so I feel like that's kind of released a little bit. So I'm just gonna pick this up and I'm gonna go corner to corner. And I'm gonna start off by going off this particular corner. So the cool thing about the cell activator is that once you get it over the edges of the surface that you're painting on, it kind of sticks and it creates these really amazing edges. And I have to tell you guys, I hope that you can see these colors. They are really beautiful. I have to say that was a really great color combination. All right, just going off the opposite corner and then I'm going to come back towards the middle. And then send the paint over this corner. And like I said, I want, I want it to go over the edges and then I'm just going to bring it back to the opposite corner and you can see the edges of the tile are just really beautiful. That's kind of the cool thing about this particular technique is how cool the edges are. 
All right, so now I'm just gonna kind of go over this other last corner. And as I said, it goes kind of slow, so you have to be patient. I'm just gonna kind of let that drop off here. And then I'm gonna take it back and kind of even up my paint a bit. And there we go. Okay, so that is how you would achieve it by blowing through a straw. Now let me do one more for you and I'll show you, I'll try to show you how I blow it um, normally. So hold one second here and let me get set up, okay? All right, guys, um, hopefully I can show this to you. I apologize, my head is probably gonna be in the way, but hopefully you can see kind of the difference it makes to use your mouth to blow versus the straw. So the first thing I wanna do is kind of blow down through the center, which kind of disperses some of the cell activator, and then I'm gonna blow out over each um, side of the color that I have. Okay, there we go. So I think I probably had a little bit too much cell activator on this one. We'll see as it stretches out, hopefully a little bit more will um, kind of come through. I did layer this one differently. I started with the copper on the bottom, then the brown, and then the gold. So it should look a little bit different. And um, I think I do want to blow this out just a little bit more because I know that I, so that I get a little bit more reaction there. There we go. Okay, so you don't wanna blow so hard that it forces it all down to stick on the tile. You want to blow it so that um, so that you're activating the cell activator, if that makes sense, and then so that um, the paint kinda of comes back up underneath so that um, the paint will flow. All right, so let me see. I'm gonna put the camera back down again so that hopefully you guys can have a little bit better view of how I tilt. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna pick it up so you can kind of see it a little bit better. There we go, isn't that cool, guys? All right, so let's stretch this out and see what we get. I do think that I want to put, well, we're gonna go for it. I was thinking I kind of wanted a little bit more paint on the corners, but that's all right, we're gonna tip it and see what we get. So remember how I said, it, it goes very slow because you're just using house paint in here. Just kind of want to go off the corner. Make sure that that cell activator is going off the corner as well. And then I'm going to come back and tilt it the opposite direction. And I will say it's kind of tricky to hang on to sometimes once you get more corners done. But sometimes I just hang on to like a dry corner and that seems to help a little bit. And then once I go off this corner, then I want the paint to come back to the center. So the weight of my paint is more towards the middle before I go off the other opposite corners. There we go. And then I'm just gonna tilt it down. Sorry, I know it's really a slow, slow video, guys, but I wanted to show you 
kind of the differences. So some people find that it's kind of hard to blow if they have kind of lung issues. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I showed you the straw. Um, you could also use like a piece of PVC pipe that's a little bit smaller maybe, and that would kind of help direct the air to the right spots as well. But really the best way to do it is truly to blow like I did for this one, because I'll show you the difference and gosh, this one is just so pretty. The other one was pretty as well, but we got so many more cells and so much more webbing in this one by blowing um, how I showed you. So it really, it does make a difference. So if, if you can blow with your mouth, um, you'll definitely get a little bit better reaction, I think. And you'll find, this is why it takes me 45 minutes to an hour to do a set of coasters, oh my goodness. But it is just such a cool technique. I really have enjoyed everything I've done so far. And um, I'll show you a couple other things I um, have in mind here to do, hopefully yet today, although you won't get to see both videos at the same time. So as I said, I will put the coupon code down below for Shelly's course. Um, I, again, I really highly recommend this course. I think you'll learn so much from it. And I kind of feel like, I mean, there is so much information out there on YouTube. Sorry, guys. I know you can't see this very well. I'm just trying to get the paint down towards the center again. There's so much information out there on YouTube. And I, for one, am more than willing to pay for a class um, if I feel that there's value in it. And I truly would not tell you um, to buy this class if I didn't feel there was value in it. Um, I have learned so much off of YouTube. Hopefully, I've taught some of you some things that I have learned as well. And I, YouTube is a fantastic way to learn a new technique. That's how I learned how to do how to do pour painting. So um, it's a great tool to use to um, learn something new, but sometimes I think it's well worth the investment if you want to learn something really totally different than what you've done in the past. And that's why I feel like the $99 is totally worth it. Okay, so here are both of the coasters that I've done. This is the one that I blew with my mouth. This is the one that I did with a straw. Both of them very cool. Um, this one had the copper on the top. Is that right? No, the copper was on the bottom on this one. Copper was on the, oh my goodness, that's terrible. Yeah, copper was on the bottom, gold was on the top. Gold on the bottom, copper on the top. So kind of interesting at the different effects that you get. And usually when I do a set of coasters, I like to vary it so that all of them aren't the same. And so, um, let me see if I'm going to take my gloves off really quick and just show you what I mean on that, on the ones that I showed you to begin with. So this is a good example of that. So you can see this one has a lot more red showing as well as this one has more purple showing. So I like to kind of vary it and layer them differently so that the set of coasters isn't exactly the same. So when I finish this set of coasters, I'll do the same thing. Two will be layered with the copper on the bottom. Two will be layered with the gold on the bottom. All right, guys. So this is the Shelly art style that I've been working on. Um, I hope you'll try it. I really, truly hope that you'll um, find that investing in the class was well worth the money. Um, as I said, I will put the link down below so that um, you can find her class and use the coupon to save some money on it too. If you have any questions, please let me know. As I said before, you need to watch the video to get the measurements that I've used for all of my recipes. I will not print those down below for you. Um, I, I don't feel that that's really right in sharing that much information with you. I just wanna share enough information that you find value in purchasing the class yourself. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching today. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when I put a new video out. Thanks again. Bye-bye.